Howdy, Bill Zam here. On this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit the parameters for your particular show. Once again, we are here at the freedomtalkradio.net uh, page that the public sees where you can do a lot of editing. Again, to get to it, you click on Profile at the home page for Spreaker. Go ahead and click on that and wait for that page to come back up again right here and what we're going to do is we are going to click on shows right here. So we're going to click on shows and we can see that we have the entire list of shows that are right here all the shows that are on the network. So we're going to go ahead and um, explore some of these different parameters um, that you can use for editing your show. The first one right here is um, applying to iHeartRadio. You can do that. However, you have to remember that iHeartRadio is owned by Clear Channel. And one of the things that it says right on here, right there, that sentence, you represent and warrant to Clear Channel that content you submit to the service will not contain third-party copyright material or material that is subject to third-party proprietary rights. So, you can uh, submit your episodes to iHeartRadio but if you're using material that is copyright by anybody else and do not have the proper licensing for it, you can get in big financial trouble. The other um, areas that you can edit right here, you can create a new show. This is one of the areas where you can create a show besides uh, up at the top of the page where it says create right there or you can edit your show. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to edit that show, which is, of course, called Surrounded by Idiots, right there. Here we have the title for the show right here, the URL for the show. If you decide to change the title of your show, you can do that. However, do not click that right there. Otherwise, the URL of your show will change, and guess what? None of any links that you've shared with anybody will work after that. You can upload an image to go with your show, which is um, uh, your uh, master show, by the way, not the individual episodes. You can also uh, select the category that uh, your show is in. Um, uh, there are very, a whole bunch of different categories that you can uh, select with Spreaker. You can uh, pick the one that uh, goes best with uh, what you ha what your show is about. If your show is about uh, current events, you can select current events or news or weather, business, finance, politics, jobs, any type of sports, entertainment, and a whole bunch of other categories. You can add a master description for your show right there. And when you save it, it saves all of that to the system. Now, there's a few other areas here that uh, we should um, take a look at that are, let me see here, let me do this right there so that I can do this. These are the other things that you can, uh, that you can um, change for your particular show. The one that I want you to not pay any attention to is this one right here, Manage Intro Commercial. You might be thinking to yourself, you know, it would be nice if I could have a little commercial that plays at the beginning of the show. That would be sweet. I could record something and everything would be sweet and life would be great. Unfortunately, that changes the intro commercial to all the shows. So if you do an intro commercial for your show, Anybody else that's broadcasting will also get the same intro commercial. So don't use that. Just um, play it locally on your computer or upload it as a file to the uh, music library. 
Now, one that's interesting right here is this one right here. Actually, you know what? Let me go up here and um, we're going to go ahead and manage the episodes for the show. When you click on that, you can see that you come up with a list of episodes that have been uh, broadcast um, uh, on your show. So you can edit them right here. Click on edit and it will give you all of the information about it. You can upload an image to that individual episode. You can um, add tags to that individual episode right there, your little keywords, and you can change the description for that particular episode right there. You can make it private, you can uh, say that it has explicit content, and you can turn off the uh, download uh, ability for that show. You can um, replace your episode with an audio file. You can download your episode if you want to do some editing and then upload it. Or you can just plain delete the show. And there's also automatic shares, which mean absolutely nothing in our case um, because it gets shared onto YouTube automatically. And we do not use a uh, upgraded SoundCloud um, account. We have our own podcast uh, website that we use. So you don't really have to pay any attention to that. We'll go back here to episode info. And as you can see, we are back here. You can upload an image um, to your show. Let me see here. Let's um, find a... Uh, image that we have here. We'll just go to desktop and uh, pick something right there. There we go. We'll pick that one and it will upload it. And uh, there we go. We got a little uh, microphone there. Click OK. And there we go. We have just uploaded a image for that individual episode. And all you do is click Save and it will save all the information. So when you go back There we go. We we'll click on that, and you can see that that episode now has that image associated with it. So you can change everything about it that uh, you would like to. And there we go. Uh, we have uh, another uh, really, really cool thing that you can use, which is called scheduling. So let's click on that and set up a new schedule. So say you are going to do a broadcast for your show. Say you want to uh, set up a uh, broadcast and let everybody know that uh, you're going to be doing your show, um, say, let's say today. So we're going to go ahead and say that my show is uh, going to be on this afternoon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, which would be 1700, and click Create. And there we go. At, uh, is now set up. I am doing a show today at 5 o'clock, which is set right here. So people that come to Spreaker, the visitors that come to Spreaker, will see on the schedule that there is going to be a show called Surrounded by Idiots at 5 p.m. today. And uh, say you say, you know what, I have a family emergency, I can't do the show, you can go ahead and delete it. And there you go. And also for your particular show, you can edit your contacts. So you can um, connect your show to your Facebook fan page. You can um, set up an email. You can set up a website. You can set up your Twitter name. You can set up your Skype name. All for your particular show. And um, that is not... Uh, the, the network has its own... Um, Twitter account, the network has its own um, Skype name, the network has its own email address and phone number and everything else. And this is so that you can set up your own individual uh, stuff for your individual show, which is a very handy thing to have. And that is how you can edit your particular show. Again, Go to the home page at Spreaker by clicking on the little home link at the top of the page. Click on profile, then go to shows, and then 
click edit your particular show right there. And that is how you edit your individual shows.